Hi friends, welcome to Biology Exams for A.com. Today's topic is the difference between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Let's begin with the common features of both types of respiration. Cellular respiration is a catabolic process or breakdown process that involves the oxidation of respiratory substrates like glucose to produce energy to drive cellular activities. Difference number one is why the term. Aerobic respiration, as the term indicates, it takes place in the presence of oxygen. In aerobic respiration, oxygen is involved where this glucose is oxidized to form carbon dioxide and water with the release of energy. This reaction is called as oxidation process as oxygen is added and also hydrogen is removed. In anaerobic respiration, it takes place in the absence of oxygen. Here glucose is converted to pyruvic acid and process glycolysis which is an anaerobic process then it is converted to either ethyl alcohol or lactic acid. Oxygen is not involved in the process. Difference number two regarding the reaction. In aerobic respiration complete oxidation of glucose takes place releasing energy. Here you can see Glucose is completely oxidized to form carbon dioxide and water with the release of energy. End product is carbon dioxide and water. Whereas in anaerobic respiration, incomplete oxidation of glucose takes place. This is glycolysis. Glucose is converted to two pyruvic acid molecule. Then this pyruvic acid is either converted to ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide which is called as alcoholic fermentation that occurs in yeast and plant cells or this pyruvic acid is converted to lactic acid by lactate dehydrogenase enzyme that is occurring in animals especially muscle cells of animals and also in some bacteria here you can see the oxidation is incomplete much of the energy is locked in this chemical this is partially oxidized Difference number three regarding the steps and site of reaction. In aerobic respiration, glycolysis occurs in cytosol. Glycolysis occurs in cytosol forming pyruvate, whereas Krebs cycle occurs in the mitochondrial matrix and electron transport chain occurs in the inner mitochondrial membrane in both plants and animals. Whereas in bacteria, glycolysis and Krebs cycle occurs in cytosol where a electron transport chain occurs in the plasma membrane. In anaerobic respiration, glycolysis and fermentation both occurs in the cytosol of cytoplasm. Difference number four regarding the energy. In aerobic respiration, high energy is formed, but it is a slow process. Approximately 34 to 36 ATP molecule is formed per glucose molecule oxidized. 2 ATP is formed in glycolysis, approximately 2 ATP in citric acid cycle, then majority of ATP formed during electron transport chain, approximately 34 to 36 ATP is formed. Whereas in anaerobic respiration, there is low energy, only 2 ATP is formed, but it is a rapid process. As you can see, during glycolysis, 2 ATP is formed, but it is a rapid process. That is why during an athletic event or heavy exercise, our muscles prefer anaerobic formation of energy by glycolysis and also formation of lactic acid fermentation happens inside muscle cells to form instant energy. That is why we often have heavy breathing after sternus exercise to oxidize the lactic acid formed. And these are the differences. Thank you so much for your support. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and like.